Hey there, it's Lady with a Mic, and today we're gonna be looking at this video of this guy destroying his nail shop. So it says, boyfriend destroys nail shop because girlfriend didn't get a $30 refund on nails she didn't like. Thoughts? My thought is, I'll let you know after we watch the video, take a look at it, and then we'll look at some comments and discuss it. Where that money at, bro? Where that money at? What the fuck y'all talking about? You stay standing me, bro. Please don't go. You don't say my boyfriend. I swear to God, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Give my money back, bro. Fuck me every last minute, y'all that. Bro, give me the money back, bro. Come on, man. Give my fucking money, bro. 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 Bro, give us the fucking money. So my thing is, she didn't like the nails, right? So why did you, throughout, you you can literally see your nails getting done. So you should have told them, like, I don't like it. Can we change this or can we do something different with it? So you can get it before it gets too deep and you get to the end, you like, I don't like my nails. But then again, I'm like, okay, well, maybe they did have this conversation and she just still did not like her nails. What did you get done to your nails that cost $30? I I miss those. <laughs> so he just went, he just went wild in that shop. Like all over the $30. There could have been a way that y'all could have maybe, I don't know, handled it. But to just destroy thousands of dollars worth of stuff in his nail salon, it, it really wasn't worth it. Do y'all feel like that they should have just went ahead and said, okay, here, take, $30, take the $30 and just go? But I mean, by that time, he's throwing stuff, he's irate. There is no calming down that anger. And at this point, I would call the police. Like, he's over here tearing up my salon. Because now it's like, you're going to have to pay thousands of dollars. And you're going to have to go to jail, probably. Because you destroy these people's property over $30. So, I mean, you got to think about the, big, the bigger picture here. And clearly... Um, I guess his bigger picture was, I'm going to tear this shop up until y'all give me the $30. Or I guess he felt like all the stuff that he was throwing was worth $30 worth of damage. Huh? Because <laughs> now I feel like you're going to have to pay. You're going to have to pay for the damage. One way or another. Um, so let's get into some of these comments. You want, listen, stop it. Stop. <laughs> Listen, you won't jail or you won't jail. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that is a per that's the perfect comment right there. That's the one right there, right? You won't you won't jail or you won't jail. This person said, now you're going to jail for thirty dollars. The lack of intelligence in some people these days. Right? Because it's like, you know, you know that ain't you gonna have to go to jail for thirty dollars. There could have been a, you could have handled it so much better. This person said she had no business getting her nails done if they were that broke. Now I'm not gonna sit, sit up here and say that they're, they're broke, okay? Because I don't know nobody's finances. But I will say this for $30, I mean, for any kind of dollars, like, I ain't finna be tearing on nobody's business, even if I pay like $3,500. I get it, because $30, my $30 is my $30, okay? $30 is $30. And, um, but, and I ain't finna, I'm not finna be going crazy. Um, I'm not finna be trying to get myself in a, a worse, in a more worse situation than it is over that. That's just me though. This person said, dang, last time my nails cost $30 with $19.89. Girl, good, good night. <laughs> she lied though. Cause I remember when a full set used to be 25. I remember like I was a little kid. My sister used to take me, we're 10 years apart. She used to take me to the nail salon with her sometimes. We used to get her nails done, and it was like a full set was twenty five dollars. I remember one time I was a little kid and I wanted to get a full set. My mom was like, "You know, Jess, you're like eight years old. You do not get no full set." <laughs> this person said that ten k bump and it cost way more than some bump a thirty dollars. That's that broke mentality. Y'all really feel like these people broke? I mean, I get it. Like thirty dollars is thirty dollars, but sometimes like thirty dollars is like I just feel like it shouldn't be. 
you shouldn't just be going crazy over 30. You shouldn't be going crazy over any kind of money, you know, whether it's $3,500, $30 or $3. You should not be going crazy. There's a way to handle things. Okay. But if you comparing 10000 to $30, which one would you rather have paid? That's <laughs> what I'm trying to, I'm saying. This person said, y'all bougie in these comments because times is hard. $30 is still money to some people. Destroying the shot was out of pocket, though. See, that's what I was saying. Like, it's just $30 is $30, okay? Uh, I, I don't like giving away $30. However, I would tell this person, if I don't like my nails, I would tell them in the beginning, I don't like it. Let's switch it up. Unless she did, they didn't come to an agreement or something. I would have been like, okay, you know what? Just... Take it off. I'm done. Blah, blah, blah. But not to wait to the end and be like, I don't like them. Because you can see the process as they're doing your nails. But destroying the shot was definitely out of line. I would not have done that. That's just something I would have never done. But that's just me. This person said maybe she should have maybe she should have just settled for the $3 press holes from Tebow. <laughs> I'm so weak. Not the Timu press offs. Oh my God, that is too funny. Well, well, I mean, at this point, but no, maybe she should just go to the person that she like, keep trying to find a nail salon. I mean, first of all, I haven't seen this girl. I want more her coming to my nail salon because you. I'm a. I see this. This went viral, and I see this person, and I see. No, I cannot service you. No, 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 no. I cannot. Because you ain't finna tell my someone you don't like my nails. You don't like your nails and you gotta pay. Mm -mm, nope. See, people like that, I be feeling like, mm. Watch what you do because people be watching that and they probably gonna be like, oh no. <laughs> this person said $30 is never worth jail time. Never. Like, nothing is worth. I don't think, like, $30, $35, like, none of this is worth jail time. Okay, I know sometimes I may joke around like I be seeing like the scammers that be scamming people out of 3500 and they be coming up in there and they be, uh, I'm, I'm just exaggerating with the price, but they be coming up in there and they be like, I'm going to get my, my money back one way or another, I'm going to destroy your stuff. I know I may joke around, be like, yes, girl, I'll be destroying everything. I literally be joking because I'll be like, there's another way that you can handle it. However, sometimes these people be scamming and it's just like... I'm going to get my money back one way or another. But I just say go to go to uh, court. That's my thing. But I guess in this case, you really can't really go to court. Because it's like the pro the service has been done. It has been completed. You don't like it. Maybe we can change it. Now, if they were trying to say, like, no, we can't change it or whatever, then I would be very upset. Okay? But I wouldn't be that upset where I'm going to be throwing stuff. Sometimes you just have to just cut your loss or just try to figure out another way that y'all can come to another solution but that's just what i think anyway that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys for joining me let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments and remember to stay safe from the karens and i'm out